Yeah, the reason why I play this type of melody was because thinking about K-pop groups that have been going through lots of things ever since um, last year or other years besides 2016. But I would say the worst years are 2014 and 2016. Because first of all, in 2016, just like in the previous video, 21 is disbanding and Nam Taewon is leaving Luna although Nam Taewon already left and 21 already disbanded. But I, but I think 2016 has gone through more than that, I think, because um, there's, still, there's still one for, for, there's still one I remember. Um, Kara, which is another girl, girl group, disbanded this year as well, um, but they disbanded earlier than 21. And also, Zhang Yixing, also known as Lei, there was one time, I think like a few months ago, where he where he fainted in an airport, I think, either going or leaving Japan. Yeah, he fainted in an airport and he did not feel very good and stuff. And a lot has been happening and there and sometimes other K pop groups can like disband or get other or get members to leave. And I think there was one member from this boy group called Beast, um, one of them was leaving as well. I kind of forgot the name, but he was leaving as well. And 2014, it's not as good because a lot, actually a lot of um, girl and boy K-pop groups um, would disband most of the time in 2014. And some of them would last for at least a year and some of them wouldn't actually. Like some of them would last for at least a few months and then disband already. And like I think four minute there I think it's a boy group and I think they disbanded in two thousand fourteen and a lot has been going on and stuff. And she, and in two thousand fourteen as well, Seong Ri, who is the Macne or youngest, um, of Big Bang, this boy group Big Bang, he got into an accident one I once I think it was a car accident and stuff. And yeah. But EXO. I think 2014 is the worst year for EXO because 2014 was the year where they lost two members, which was Chris and Lee. And I was I thought 2015 would be another worst year as well, but not really because not much happened on like 2016 really. I, I it's bes but besides um K-pop groups disbanding and stuff, but. The only thing I remember in 2015 is that Tao left EXO, who was the third member. And that's all I pretty much know for 2015. That's why I didn't really count it as um, the worst years of K-pop. But 2014 and 2016, yeah. Because, but, but I'm going to say still 2014 is the worst year for K-pop. Because like like this like the the seriously worst year because of those happening K pops disbanding leaving groups and stuff, but I would say twenty sixteen would be a part of it as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed my interlude of stuff happening to um K pops, and also comment down which um year do you think is the worst year for K pop twenty fourteen or twenty sixteen. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time and I'll go play this song, I'll go play this melody for about, for about a, like 30, 30 seconds or so and yeah, see you guys all next time.